Hey, it's Harrison, and in today's video I'm going to be casting a lithium ingot and comparing that to a tungsten cube and an aluminum cube. There is my zinc sheet metal mold that I made by bending some zinc around a 1 inch cube. And here is my nice clean clay crucible that I'm going to be melting my lithium metal in. I turn the hot plate on and I start adding chunks of lithium metal. And the little drips of liquid that you're seeing are mineral oil because lithium needs to be stored in it because of how reactive it is. Here you can see that the lithium metal is still really shiny and that's because some of the mineral oil is still covering it from when it was stored in it. The vapors that you're seeing coming off are actually the mineral oil vaporizing underneath the heat. After about 10 minutes or so, I start trying to stir it around with my stainless steel spatula, but it's still too solid. And about 15 minutes in, when I start poking around again, I don't know if you can see it, but some of it actually starts to melt into a liquid. Now that most of the mineral oil has vapored off, you can see that the lithium has reacted with the air and it's gotten quite dirty. You can also see that it starts to become a liquid as I provoke it with my stick. After more provoking, you can see that it has become entirely liquid. While we're waiting for that to cool, let's start talking about the properties of lithium. Lithium is the least dense metal on earth. This one inch cube of aluminum weighs approximately 45 grams. My tungsten one inch cube weighs approximately 300 grams, so it overloads the scale. And yes, I know this lithium is not the same size, and yes, I know that it's not pure, but you can still see that its density is a lot less than that of the aluminum. It only has a weight of a, approximately 4.1 grams. Lithium, like all the other alkali metals, reacts with water. This reaction makes lithium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Now you can see when I measure the pH of this water, it's just around neutral. It's not perfectly neutral though, because I use tap water for this reaction. Now when I measure the pH of the solution, you can see that it's basic due to the presence of the lithium hydroxide. To demonstrate the flame color of lithium, I bring out my old model Bunsen burner.
when I finally got some of it to burn, uh, it's supposed to burn with a red color, but you can see here that it burns with a little bit of a white red color, which I'm not sure why that is. In my next video, I'm going to be making some sodium using the lithium metal that you've seen here. So look forward to that in the next coming month or so.